Hey YouTubers, this is Invisible Nova with another Source SDK tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to make a prop static. For example, a prop static may be this crate or box. This crate or box is from Half Life 2. This APC is from Counter Strike. This trailer is from Half Life 2. This APC is from. Well, it's like the same one from that. It's just like it, but I just copied it. So, to create a prop static, we're going to use the entity tool and we're going to go under objects. We're going to type in prop static. A prop static gives the map a dynamic edge to it. Many Half-Life 2 levels use prop statics, but they just don't have to use prop static. There's other things that you can use, but I'm just going to use prop static today. Let's say we want a tree. Type in tree. Scroll down. You'll find this. Click one that you like. And why can't they have leaves? Alright, I'll use this one. Now click apply. And just Excel. Do you see how it's in the ground? Many prop stacks do this. They'll either spawn right where you want them, is a right at the ground level, or above the ground, or in the ground, or just nowhere to be seen. Go to your selection tool and select the tree. You can move it up. Well, I guess this tree was a little short. What you can do is you can put it in the ground while it's growing out of the ground. It's truly really simple. But to move it out of the ground, Go to your front or side view, click on it, and just drag it up. You can also rotate the prop static by clicking on the prop itself in the top view or front or side view a couple times until you get these four circles. Click on one of the circles and move your mouse around. You will see that the prop is moving or rotating. Move it to which side that you like to see. I want to see this side first, even though it really doesn't matter. I'm going to move it over here behind the crates. And there it is. That is how you use a prop static which gives a really good look to your map. Well, I hope you have fun with this entity. Good luck.